Detective Calderwood, it's uh, November 2nd at 1357 hours. Uh, this is incident number PB1502591 and I will be interviewing accused Catherine Tuck. Stand by. Okay, so again, I'm Detective Calderwood, okay? First name is Keith. Before we start, uh, Catherine, I just wanted to let you know that um, we're being videoed by that camera there and audio by the microphone on the ceiling, okay? okay. So then we say it's on video and audio taped, okay? Mm -hmm. Um, if you have spoken to any police officer or to anyone with authority, or if any such person has spoken to you in connection with this case, I want it clearly understood that I do not want to influence you in making any statement. Do you understand that? Yes, I do. Okay. So you spoke with duty counsel, is that correct? Yes, I okay. Do. Are you satisfied with that? Um, I just said, he, I forget the gentleman's last name, but I think he said his name was Peter. Sorry, he was very soft spoken. Yeah. Um, he said that I could get a hold of, there's a number, is it back in the back of the phone book? Would that be legal aid? Sorry, it was really hard to understand yeah. exactly. Yeah, there's, okay. so, so you got some legal advice from yeah. legal aid. Do you want to call legal aid or anything like that? Um, I, yeah, I guess. I'm sorry, I, I'm still... Do you want to call him right now or do you want to call him on your own time or what do you want to do? I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. I'm not, does it... Cause I, 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 I'm sorry, I know you can't really can't tell me it, what to do, but yeah. So I can just um, offer okay. you advice. Okay. So I um, can't give you legal advice, but just yeah. advice, so... Um, sorry, I just, I'm so new at that. I said I don't hope this ever happens again. Um, I'm not sure what to do. He just... I did not make a statement. Uh, that, that was his. Yeah, that's, Is that something that's separate? Up to him. That's up to him. So, so I don't know. I don't. I guess I don't want to do the wrong thing with the police either. But if he when he told no, me, no, what don't, to do, don't don't don't, no, no, don't. I just don't want to know. Don't you don't tell me what you. Okay, that's, sorry. That's, okay. For, that's why I'm not in that room when you speak. Okay. So don't, don't tell me what he said. But okay. I just need to know that you're satisfied right now with what you have yeah. received. Uh, yes. Okay. I guess sorry. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. No, that's okay. Don't don't apologize. Don't apologize. Okay. So. I do have a few questions for you. Um, this is a big investigation, okay? So um, I have to sort of kind of figure a few things out and maybe you can help me out and maybe you can't, okay? Okay. So, um, who are the Peter Rojaskis to you? Um, they're a group of children and adults with special needs. Uh, okay. We're like a big family. Okay. Uh, we do a lot of different programs, start with hockey, now we I think it's about 12 or 13 programs, but it involved, gets the community involved with these amazing kids. And okay. Yeah, I don't know if that's, sorry, yeah, because we have two children with our own with special needs, then that's why we started it. Okay. And when did you start it? Uh, 2013. 2013? Yes. Okay. 
and it started with all these programs. We started just with hockey. Just with, with hockey. one one hockey team, and the second year we went to two teams, and then okay. also had a baseball. So. And who started it with you? Uh, my husband and our son Chris helped us, you know, get the name and get the logo, that sort of thing. And okay. yeah. Okay. Okay. So. Um, who did you who did you register with this with? Did you register with anybody? Um, we had uh, Jack McVicker's office. Jack had passed away, unfortunately. Yeah. He helped us get it. I guess it's a nonprofit with with a business number, but not a charitable status. Okay. Does that? Is it not for profit? It's a not for profit. Yeah. yeah. And that means the no charity you means you can't offer charity receipts. Yes, is that correct? that's correct. Yes. Okay. But you do have a registration number. Yes, we do. Right. Okay. Okay. So. Um, Basically, um, how many how many people do you have under the umbrella that are with the Pubro Huskies? Under I, forty to fifty. I'm sorry, because it's changed a little bit. We've had a few new ones just added last week with our programs and. Okay, so did it start out with that many? No, we started with um, eight players, eight, eight players. hockey players, and then it, the next year we opened it up to um, more people. Yeah. So and we added independent living adults, which helped get them out of the house, that sort of thing. Right, right, okay. okay. Yeah. Now, um, with this, you obviously, um, there's registration fees and all yes. that, is that correct? Yes. Okay. So, at some point, you must have opened a bank account? Yes, we did. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. And who'd you open that bank account um, with? RBC um, was the one on, sorry, is it Ashburnham and Lansdowne, which is now the new one on Lansdowne, Goodfellow? Right, yeah, in that area there, across yes. from like Red Lobster there? Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, Peterborough Huskies, a, a banking account, is that RBC? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And where is Catherine Tuck's bank account? Uh, Scotiabank. Scotiabank? Uh, the one up uh, near Canadian Tire, sorry. Okay. That's so Sama Plaza there? Yes. Okay. And your husband, David mm -hmm. Tuck, where's his bank account? Uh, the RBC, the same RBC one where well. we have ours, yes. Okay. okay. I see. So, um, if um, if people were, how much is registration for hockey? Um, if we do an early bird registration, it's two hundred dollars up until I think it was July first, July fifteenth. Um, after that's two hundred fifty dollars. So we do give fitness receipts. Is that what they call it? The, for the for tax credit for yep. parents to, for, for the fitness recreation. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And you can do that because your business number. Yes. But you can't give a charity receipt. No. Gotcha. Okay. So um, how are people, um, I guess, paying you? Registration fees. Um, some is cash, some e-transfer um, checks, okay. that sort of thing. So yeah. kind of all, yes, all a little three bit like of that. Whichever works for them. Okay. Okay. And um, they would any e-transfers they would send to Peter Huskies at hotmail dot com. Is yes. that what they send it to? And then um, like. My husband cashes, puts them through his bank account, and then we put it into the other. Because we have our, sorry, the Husky one. I forget how to describe it, but we have it so you have to have two signatures to take money out um, that we can't access through the internet, that yeah. sort of thing. So we have to go in and talk to RBC itself. Okay. So, so all e-transfers will go into David's it's, account? Yeah, it goes to there, so he tra he puts it into the, his RBC account, and then we take it out and put it into the tournament account. How soon the, after? How soon after account. would you take it out of that account? Hopefully within the day or a couple days, depending. It depends on what his shifts were at work when he could get in. Okay. And would that always happen? I, I hope so. I, I'm not. I, I don't know if they always did, but I, I'm pretty sure they do. Because okay. I don't. Like I said, and sometimes we might have had to pay bills. I turn it like sorry, not tournament. Sorry, that's another separate. Um, the Huskies bills. Sometimes it's just easier to do it that way. Like if we have to go in and pay Package Plus, that sort of thing, we go in and pay cash, so we can do that sort of thing. So any okay. So so. So there is a there is a Peter Huskies account. Yes, there is. There's a Dave Tuck account. There's a Catherine Tuck account. Yes, there is. Okay. So you would Dave would put e transfers into his account. Sometimes would put it over into the Huskies account. Mm -hmm. How? Um, take it take it out of his account and either use his debit card or take the cash out of his account and then go deposit it into the Huskies account. You know, by hand, like just per like verbally go talk to Barb usually, who's okay. at the bank. Okay. I'm going to suggest that didn't always happen. Okay. Do you know what's in this box right here? No. Okay. It's 
Dave's bank account. It's the Peter Oski's bank account. And it's your bank account. Okay. If you're running a not-for-profit organization, okay, you have to be on the up and up. You have to keep invoices, receipts, ledgers, spreadsheets of all money so that you're accountable. You understand that? Mm -hmm. You guys haven't been doing that? No, I not as well. No, I shouldn't be. It's been on me for that part of it, the ledgers and that sort of thing, and I definitely haven't been out keeping that as well as I should have. Because one thing I looked at when I saw all these email transfers go into Dave's account yeah. was to see if they ended up in the Husky's account, and not many did. dealing with people's, other people's money here. Yes, definitely. Okay. Some of you email transfers went into your own account too. A few of them, yes. Just I didn't see money tr he transferred or taken out and put in Vasky's account. Okay. Yeah. I'm not sure how many. Obviously, you know, but I'm oh, not I know. sure. Yeah, yeah definitely. I do yeah. know. I okay. do know. Just for the record, I've been doing this investigation for the better half of the year. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have been. Okay. I have on July. Th July 31st, 2015, $50 e-transfer from Shelly Clintworth. Mm -hmm. Her child obviously plays with Huskies. Uh, Shelly would have been for you. I guess it would be for Gary or Robbie. I'm not sure. Maybe Robbie. Sorry. Okay. okay. How would Shelly feel if she knew that money was going into your personal account and not the Huskies account? Not very good, I guess. I know. But, but. But. No, but I said it's not, it hasn't been. It's supposed to be spent on Husky stuff. Fifth of October, two thousand fifteen. One hundred seventy-one dollars and seventy-five cents he transferred. Brian Junkin, his child plays, right? Yes. That was a two hundred and fifty dollar e transfer out on the fourteenth of October, two thousand fifteen. I'm guessing that's probably for that's after the July first deadline of early bird, so that would be for re registration for hockey. Yes. But it's in your account. Why is that Kathy? Oh, who, uh, whoever had a chance to open up the uh, e-transfer when it comes through. Usually it's David, sometimes it's been me. But they, they said the majority. Why is that not just put into the Husky's account? It, it should be, yes. Yes, it should be. Yes. Yeah, whether there's one or two signatures or not, if someone's e-transferring you money, that needs to be directly put into the Husky's account. Mm -hmm. Carissa Sotins, is that how you pronounce her last yeah, name? Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah. Two hundred and fifty dollars. That's easy. That's a that's a registration yeah. for hockey in your account. Yeah. Valerie Henry, mm -hmm. Michelle May, all husky parents. Now a $30 e-transfer from Judy Machette, what would the $30 be for? I'll be a clothing order. The small ones would be clothing orders that we... So again, gone into your account. Okay. <sighs> David's is a lot more. Mm -hmm. A lot more. So I'm going to tell you there's over 40 e-transfers from November 29th, <clears throat> 2013 up to the 
1st of July 2016 when I obtained the bank records. Okay. Totaling $9,162.80. Okay. Those are funds that Husky parents have given to the tux for their children. You gotta be straight up with me, Kathy. What's going on? Money, like said, some of it we've like said we have literally paid for stuff for the team, and others. I, I honestly can't tell you where it is at the moment. I really, I honestly, I don't want to say I don't know where. Okay, well, I have bank records that show where that money has gone to. Okay. Okay. And you have bought personal stuff with it. Are you denying that? So, Butley, there's an outstanding bill there for over five thousand dollars, right? Okay, I didn't realize it was that high, but I know we do owe them definitely. Yes. Okay. Kathy, I think I think like, you started I'm this organization out of the goodness of your heart, and I think you're inside are a good person. Okay, that's why I've decided to do this interview in this room. This is our this is our victim. Room. You're not a victim. No. The victims are the mm -hmm. Rosky parents and kids. Yeah. But I've decided to do this up here, okay, because of the noise downstairs from construction and stuff like that. But I wanted to be to be comfortable, and I thought this might be a, a better setting for you. Yes. Okay. You seem like a good person. You seem like you started this out of the goodness of your heart for for good reasons. Mm -hmm. Okay. But when you started to see a lot of this money, and I think you guys were struggling a bit. Am I right? We have been, yeah, definitely. Okay. Instead of putting some, most or all of it, where it's supposed to go, you kept a little bit in here and there for yourself. Okay. So, in February of this past year, there's a bill for $5,000, give or take, owed to Beaulieu Arena. Mm -hmm. It goes in the paper, all that kind of stuff, right? Am I correct? Uh, I don't know if that goes in. I don't know. No, no. It, oh, I'm sorry. Peter this week reported on it. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, we right. did. Oh, sorry, the article. Yes, we did. Okay. The Nissan Versa in Dave Tuck's name. Okay. Mm -hmm. There was a $6,000 payment in March of this year. Mm -hmm. And then a $2,000 payment a couple weeks later which is a total of about $8,000, $8,600. It's pretty much paid off. Oh, uh, from the accident? The 6000 would have been from the accident. Okay. Okay, I don't, and I don't, the 2000 honestly, I, I really am. That one, I swear, I don't know. So that was from the accident? The, yes, from the accident, March 15th or whatever. This came after the St. Patrick's Day parade. We so then they paid that accident. off? Yes. Okay. So that was towards the current one that we have. That and then what about the extra 2000 after that? I don't know if do you board it from work. I'm not sure of that. I I honestly can't. His boss has been very good. He works for Color Cab. They've been very nice to help us out when we needed it. If we've been behind on rent, they've given us money. So I've that, seen that, that honestly. I've yeah. seen that. Yeah, I've seen that. So I'm, I I swear I don't know that 2000. I don't remember. Cause that yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't know. What's the name of the insurance company that would have paid the five thousand off? Um, or the six thousand. Aviva. Sorry. It's through Darling Insurance. I think it's Aviva. I'm pretty sure that's who we're dealing with now. Okay. This is the Peterborough Huskies account mm -hmm. that I have here. So I have checks deposited, deposited checks out, and then cash withdrawals. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. What would? Why would there be a cash withdrawal from the Huskies account? If if we have to pay, so we do pay things like Package Plus. Some of we pay it by cash usually. They do a lot of our printing, that sort of thing. Um, if we have paid off clothing orders to Total Sportswear, some have been checks to them. Others we've paid cash. We have to go to Staples, do photocopying, some things we just do quickly on our own, that sort of thing. Okay. So, uh, you would have receipts then for everything you paid cash for? We should have it all. Staples, I can't guarantee because we use the little, the little um, 
prepaid card, we go in five dollars, ten dollars, so okay. that I may not have all of that. I don't know if they can get checked in my little card or not. It's just a prepaid. I can suggest for a not for profit, you should have all that. Is that correct? Yeah, we should definitely. Yeah. Okay. So August twenty first, two thousand thirteen. You, you withdrew $827 cash from the account. Do you remember what that would have been for? I know it's going back three years, but it is Oh, is that all back there? I'm sorry. Oh, gosh. Not offhand. I really am sorry. Okay. Um, two days later, okay. $275 cash. Okay. Mm -hmm. End of September, $270 cash. Middle of October, $250 cash. October 23rd, $300 cash. November 15th, 2013, $460 cash. 26th of November, so two weeks later, $200 cash. Three days later, $360 cash. January 14, 2014, $200 cash. Four days later on the 15th, $200 cash. Two days later on the 16th, $200 cash. A couple weeks later in February, $200 cash. Three days later, $100 cash. Nine days later, $250 cash. Six days later, $150 cash. 27th of March, 2014, $600 cash. Four days later, $508 cash. So in a matter of four days there, that's $1,108, okay? In cash, withdrawn. And you do have checks that you could write people, but you decided to withdraw cash and not keep receipts. 21st of April, $790 cash. 3rd of June, 2014, $700 cash. Four days later, $400 cash. Again, $1,100 in four days. And that was just after you received two thousand seven hundred ninety dollars from Peterborough Cares. Mm -hmm. So that was, I don't know, two weeks, thirteen days after you deposited that amount into your into your account. Where would eleven hundred dollars go? What do you have to, to answer for that? I, I, honestly, I, I don't know. At this moment, I really don't know. I wish I could. I'm not a. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't. Sixth of August, two thousand fourteen, two hundred forty dollars cash. Eleventh of August, five days later, six hundred dollars cash. Nineteenth of August, three hundred cash. Second of September, one hundred eighty cash. The next day, one hundred twenty-five cash. Okay? okay. There's a lot of cash withdrawn here. I could go on and on and on and on and on. In fact, you know what? I might go a little bit more because there was a couple here that really red flagged me. Well, it all red flags me. But fifteenth of October, four hundred cash. Twentieth of October, two hundred fifty dollars cash. 14th of November, $1,100 cash. What would something like that be for? Like that's not a that's not a common number. That's not a hundred bucks or two hundred and fifty bucks or anything like that. Kathy, what what would eleven hundred dollars cash be withdrawn from the Peter Hostie's account for? I, I truly I can't remember what that is. Honestly, I swear I don't know what that is. Come on, Kathy. I no, I really don't. Something that big. I wish I really did. December 2014, 250 cash. 4th of December, 330 cash. 9th of December, 400 cash. 16th of December, 250 cash. 19th of December, 300 cash. What else happens in December? What happens on the 25th of December? Oh, Christmas. Christmas. We don't do a lot for Christmas, so I know that's, that honestly isn't for... Did you get some gifts for your kids and stuff? No. 
we don't we don't do much for Christmas. We really don't as the boys have gotten older. And David and I don't buy each other gifts anymore. January 27th, 2015, 400 cash. March 6th, 2015, 500 cash. 13th of March, 2015, 400 cash. 24th of March, 150 cash. 7th of April, 650 cash. 11th of April, 100 cash. 14th of April, 350 cash. 18th of April, 250 cash. 21st of April, $130 cash. 24th of April, $350 cash. And 19th of May, $1,320 cash withdrawn. And then two days later, $300 cash. So $1,320. Sorry. Huge amounts, the really the, any of them, but the huge amounts especially. I have no idea. I honestly, that's a huge amount, and I don't know. I'm trying to think what we would have paid. on here. June 9th, 2015, 200 cash. 25th of June, 200 cash. Interesting, when we arrested your husband today, he had 200 cash on him as well. Yeah. He might for from work because he's doing cab. He may have had that left. Okay. 7th of July. $600 cash, 13th of July, $275 cash, 21st of July, $400 cash. So you have 14 days there, and you have $1,275 cash taken, withdrawn from the account. Kathy, what's going on with all this money? I, um, I, don't, I, I, I don't know. I really don't. It's an easy answer. Like, well, no, but some it's of it we have spent answer. ourselves, and I honestly, I'm saying that, but some of these big amounts, I honestly don't know what it was spent on. I don't know if it was paying like that a clothing order because some of our clothing orders are huge. I'm not sure on that. Well, there would be receipts for that. Well, I can get receipts if I don't already have some of the total sportswear ones for some of those big ones, but I honestly don't know what else we pay that's that big that we pay in cash. Why wouldn't you pay total sport, sportswear in, by check? Sometimes we have paid them in check, or most of the time probably. Yeah, so probably say, I, I recognize here that you, that you do pay them in check, mm -hmm. by check. Like on the 22nd of January this year, $735.85 to total sportswear. By check. But you're telling me sometimes you pay them in cash? Last year, this past year, Kathy, 13th of January, $200 cash, 20th of January, $150 cash, two days later, $120 cash, three days later, $120 cash, two days later, $120 cash, three days later, $200 e-transfer, $135 to Dave account and $65 in cash, so $200 taken out, $135 to Dave Tuck's account and 65 cash. 11th of February, $180 cash. 19th of February, $250 cash. 20th of February, $150 cash. 5th of March, 2016, 
$1,600 cash. And I'm going to mention to you, at the same time, a $5,000 Costco donation was processed. So you got a donation of $5,000 from Costco, yes. and you take out $1,600 cash, and the next day, you take out $800 cash. Kathy, that's $2,400 cash in two days. What did you spend $2,400 on this past year in cash that you can't remember? I don't know. Is there anything corresponding with David's account? Because honestly, I can't. And what if it was corresponding with his account? No, I mean, if we, if we had to pay something for the team, because he's given, like, sent an e-transfer to, there'll be some for Johnny Green, uh, Bazinga Buttons, um, how she will. And he pays that out of his own account? Because we don't have the e-transfer from our account, from our tournament, or, excuse me, our Husky account. What do you mean you don't have the e-transfer, but you do? Because I have proof that you've e-transferred from the Peter o Huskies to his account. E-transfer. Yep. I forwarded emails from the Peter Huskies email to him, yes, to do the e-transfers, but not, we, we're not able to do, actually go onto the Huskies email, or the Huskies account, and do an e-transfer from the actual account. You can't? So we, no, we can't. We don't have that set up for anything like that. So we can't do online banking, anything like Which that. Which makes sense why you'd have to go withdraw some cash if you were taking some from the account. To pay things, or whatever, yes. But it's not just a pay oh, thing. Oh, no, it's not just a pay thing. No, I know, honestly, I know that. And I know so what I've done. So can I ask you a question? Because we're dealing with a lot of money here, yeah. okay? How much do you think you've taken and used for your family from the Huskies? I have no idea. Okay, if you were to ballpark it or give me an estimate, what would you think? Third of it, maybe. If that, it. I, maybe. So a third of it would be ten thousand yes. dollars. Because for cash withdrawals out of the Huskies account, I have thirty-two thousand three hundred forty-seven dollars. Okay. You think about a third of that? Maybe. What kind of things did you spend it on? Ranch food, I guess. That sort of thing. Gas, so we can get to the places. That sort of thing. Like it's. Okay. Nothing spectacular, we're not no. high living people, not that I'm... No, you're not. I, you I know, I, like, I mean, it's not like we're buying, going on trips or anything, it's nothing like that. No. Like I, now, did Dave go on, did Dave go to the Daytona 500? He did last year, yes. Who did you go there with? A uh, friend of his, Tim. Okay. So would some of that money maybe help that trip out? It might. I thought he paid it out of his own because he gets, he can, um, I'm sorry, his holiday pay, he can get it. Yeah, but you're the finance out, but person in the house. Not really. We don't really discuss our finances. Half of the time, I don't know what he makes, and he doesn't know what I have. Okay. So that I don't. So. Because up until June, January, February this year, he was living somewhere else. Okay. So another thing I want to suggest to you, Kathy, is <sighs> bear with me. I have a lot of paperwork. That's why this has been taking me so long. Okay. I don't want to miss anything, okay? And you know what? Do you feel good about being honest? I, I still feel terrible. You feel terrible about what? But this whole situation. Okay, like, but does it really feel good to get it off your chest? I guess, a little. So I'm still still trying to deal with all this, and I just... Well, I can understand that. I can understand that. Okay. Like you say, our heart is in the right place for these kids. And Do you know what? I honestly believe you about that, Kathy. I honestly do. I, and I totally get that you have done good things with the money that has come in for the Huskies. I, I, I witnessed it. You've probably recognized my face. We've, Definitely. You've seen played a hockey ranks. game. You've come played with a hockey us. game yeah, with you guys, been right? Wonderful. We've played yeah. a charity game, right? So I'm not sitting here judging you, thinking you're not doing, you're trying to rob these kids. What I'm here to make sure is that you keep good accounting 
ledgers and spreadsheets. And you haven't been doing that. No. Okay, and you've been using some of this money for your own personal use with your family. Okay, so that's why I'm involved. Okay, so one thing that I want to mention to you is on the 11th of February 2014, $100 cash was withdrawn from the Peter Rohuskies account. On the 11th of 14th, 2014, the exact same day, there was a $100 cash deposit into Dave's account. Is that ironic? Yeah, no, it's not. No, and I honestly, obviously we both know that, but yes. Okay. I, yeah. On the 20th of February, okay, there was a $200, $250 cash withdrawal from the Huskies account. On the exact same day, there's a $200 cash deposit into Dave's account. Okay. Yeah, and I, I said I, I can't remember all the dates for everything, but obviously you have it there. I, no, I'm not disputing that. Right. Yeah. Okay. So, is this Dave? Is this you? Is it both of you? We both have to sign for it. To take any money out, it has to be two signatures, so it's not throwing him under the bus at all by any means. It's both of you, right? Yeah. On the 21st of April, 2014, $790 cash was withdrawn from the Peter Rohuskies account. On the exact same day, $230 cash was deposited into Dave's account. Still, there's about five hundred and sixty mm -hmm. missing. My math's not the greatest, but approximately missing. So I don't know where that money went to. But it's interesting how there's a cash deposit on the same day. There's a cash withdrawal of a, a lot of money. Okay. On the 6th of August, $240 cash withdrawn and 120 of it cash deposited into his account, so half of it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, did you guys go to the U.S. at all? Because it's, there's some U.S. conversion going on in here um, around the 6th of August, 2014. That would have been, sorry, that was the tournament in... Um Sorry, Detroit? I think that was the one we went to. A so some left over? Team. Okay, so yes. there's some leftover cash that went into Dave's account. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sure, yes, obviously. Okay. Okay. Is this tough to hear? It is. It's, in all honesty, yeah. Why did you keep doing it, though? I don't know if it was just a way to keep our head above water ourselves, paying our bills, and... Yeah. Because when we started this, we put in probably close to 10000 of our own money and cash in investments for things for our kids, and I put that money into the team, and then that left us with nothing, yeah. ourselves and our savings. And Do you work at all? No, I've been no, home right. with our boys, and... Right. Have you ever worked? I did. I worked at Kmart for years, and then... I worked at Adam's Kmart. Club. They did, yeah, back, back in the day. In the day eh? well, a long time, since yeah. I was 16. I worked there for 10 years. And okay. then I worked at Pennington's for about a year after okay. the boys, and I worked at Adam's Club with a special needs girl. Okay. And I worked at Regal for two months when they closed. But other than that, I did. Oh, Regal Stationery? Yeah. There are no Mimi there? No, the one. Um, oh, the one here down in at town. Queensway, Queensway. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. So most of the time, though, I've been home, and we have been on assistance with Boys and I because David's been in and out of our life. Back and forth. Okay. For quite a, for nine years. So you were on assistance as well? Yes, I had been, yes. Okay. And when did you get cut off assistance? We stopped. Dan David moved in, I like said, January, February this year, I guess. Back when he moved in officially. I'm sorry, I'm trying to think. I know we signed it because we obviously live in housing, but. Yeah. Okay. So. But you guys have always, you've been together, right? Yes. I know, yeah. you've, I know you've had a couple of hiccups. Yeah, we've definitely, yeah. He's had to figure some stuff out in his life and, yeah. Okay, okay I'm not here to get into that. No, I'm not getting yeah. Why? So he moved out for a bit and then moved yeah. back in, is that correct? Yeah. He moved out 2007, moved back in this year. Just this year? Back here. He's been back and forth a little bit. He'd stay the odd night or here and there, but we tried, tried working things out and then it just wasn't, like as a permanent thing, it's been this year. But you both have to sign the withdrawal cash from? From the account, yes. Okay. And we're the only two that have signed privileges.
this past year, you owed beautifully money mm -hmm. that you didn't have. However, if you had guys had been taking money from the account, you probably would have had it, right? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Now, what about Austin trophies? Yes, we owe them eight hundred and something. I think it is. Eight, if I was to say eight eighty-seven sixteen, would I be pretty yeah, close? Yeah. The other question I have for you, um, Kathy, is you guys do a lot of fundraising. A lot of fundraising. You guys do a lot of cash fundraising. Would you agree with that? Tag days. Tag days are, what, what, what's a tag day to you? Um, children's Day and collect donations from the community. Yeah, so yeah. outside maybe a grocery store yeah. or something like that, mm -hmm. right? And people give that in cash, usually not as many checks come yeah. through that, right? Okay. So you guys would do a lot of those. Okay. And some of them, sorry, the Peterborough Cares last last year, not this year, did well. This year we didn't do as well. That yeah. sort of thing in their set tag days we might make two hundred dollars. Right. So they haven't been huge, no. unfortunately, this year. Yeah. But there hasn't been a whole lot of cash going into the Peterborough Huskies account mm -hmm. either. Some has some we've used for ourselves, and again, some has been used for other things for the team. Okay. And what should have happened with that money? Should have all gone straight in. So you have to understand how it works: is money goes in no matter what, mm -hmm. okay? And then the bank statements there it shows on such and such a day, boom. If the bank's not open when you're done on a Saturday after a tag day, Monday morning, you get that money in there. It shows it's in there, and then. Disperse it if you have a payment to come out, you write a check to someone, all that kind of stuff, right? You guys haven't been doing that? No. Do you give any spreadsheets or anything to the parents on a monthly basis to show them where we're at financially no. for the organization or anything like that? You don't no. do that either, right? When we started out, that was our goal, and then we never got that far. We never got that far, right? No. I don't and who's on the board again? Oh, uh, uh, David and I, and Chris Williams, who has nothing to do with any of this. So he's, and our son, Chris, he's not technically on the board, but he is a okay. member. member. Is Chris Williams on the up and up? Has he taken any money? No, God, no. He hasn't Have been, any, he hasn't had access to any of this. So no. Have you guys given him any money? No, we have not. Does he know that you guys have taken some money for yourselves? Not at this time, no. There no. were a couple transactions between Chris and Dave and Dave's account. Do you know what I mean oh, about those? For the uh, silent auction, like just ju December, January, you thinking February? Is that what you're mm -hmm. looking at? Yeah. He does a, a big online auction. And so the money goes into his account from that or when he does the, whatever the auction site is, I'm sorry. And then yeah. he sends it over to us or if he has cash. Okay. Kind of and Dave kept some of that money. It's pro we probably used it. Um, if I give you the name Lucas Hurd, do you know that name? Yes. Okay. So Lucas, Halloween a year ago, so 2015, did a haunted house. Yes. Okay, and raised $1,200 cash. Yes. For the Peterborough Huskies. Mm -hmm. Okay. One night was something like $430, the other night was closer to five, and the last night was a couple hundred or whatever. Okay. What happened with that money? Some get, went in the account. I, I can't tell you where the rest went, in all honesty, at, this, at the time, but I know when. I'm going to suggest went. not very much went into that account. Okay. I thought it had. For that one, I did think it had, you know, honestly. beauty pageant, mm -hmm. pancake breakfasts. Yeah, the pancake breakfasts made very little because we had 10 people show up after we put all the money out for the food, so that one and what was donated. Okay. Um, oh yeah, there was one here that caught my eye. Okay.
on the 22nd of April 2016 this year, the Rotary Club of Bridge North donated $615. Is that a fundraiser they did for you? Well, um, that would be the um, Polar Plunge. The Polar Plunge? Yes. Okay. When they gave you that check, you cashed it on the 1st of June 2016. It was $615. That same day, you took out $615. I can't tell you which what it was spent on. No. At this time, I own the Okay. Some other ones where you get uh, just for kicks and Canadian Tire, we jumped to it, right? For yes. kids. Yes, they are. And uh, they gave you some cat or a couple checks. Yes. Peter Mission gave you a two hundred fifty dollar check. Just for Kicks gave you a $250 check, and Canadian Tire gave you a $450 check. And the same day you withdrew $350 cash, and the next day $150 cash. That's at the RBC as well. Uh, David and Chris Williams are signing privileges. I think we we might have written one check, but other than that, money goes straight to that. It's something separate from our Huskies. It's off of our Huskies account, I think, but it's nothing to do with us and it. You know. So you think you've spent a third? Maybe, maybe more, but I don't think it'd be much more because I honestly, there's not a lot we've, I, I said, I wish I could give you a full total, I don't. What, what do you think should happen in this situation? Like what should happen to Kathy Tuck? Pay for what you've done. I, I don't know how to word it, but yeah. And, and, and in which way should Kathy Tuck pay for what she's done? One, we have to pay it back. But at, at the very least. Um, I don't know what else to say in a situation. I know there's going to be more than that, just that, but I don't know what to say, honestly. I don't. I just. But I know we have to pay it back. But it's going to take a long time. And if the Huskies are able to continue, then we have no access to the finances or money coming in that goes to Chris Williams, someone else, if that happens. Because I don't want to see anything happen to the Huskies, but I don't want anything to do with money, which probably isn't an option anyways at this point. But How much do you think is in the Huskies account right now? Put a check in. 267 something and I'm not sure what was in there prior not a lot I don't think on top of that because yeah. you you've received a couple big donations from like Costco mm -hmm. 
Giant Tiger usually do a good fundraiser yeah, they, for you. They're pretty good well, sponsor, they, right? He gives us, sorry, I'm trying to give it to us, but I think it was $1,500 this year he gave, uh, Kevin did. He's been very good to us, yeah. He's not going to be happy with this, I don't think. Yeah. No. That's a hurt, but I don't want to lose the sponsorship or the support from the community for the Huskies and, you know, that sort of thing. But, you know, I think we've kind of screwed that over. So, I'm gonna let you know something right now, okay? I'm gonna stop our interview right there because of because you've told me that you think it's about a third or close to ten thousand dollars that you guys have taken for your own. Um, I'm gonna caution you, okay, that um, the fraud charge is now fraud over five thousand dollars, okay? Okay. So. Um, it's my duty to inform you that you have the right to retain and instruct counsel without delay. You also have the right to telephone any lawyer you wish. You also have the right to free the from a legal aid lawyer. If you are charged with an offense, you may apply to the legal aid plan for legal assistance. Okay, the phone number there again, 1-800-265-0451. Okay, and of course that'll put you in contact with the legal aid counselor. Okay, do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Do you want to give them a call again or? Do you wish to say anything else to the charge? You're not obliged to say anything unless you wish to do so, but whatever you say may be given into evidence. Did you want to say anything else? I'll wait until I talk to counsel. Okay. okay. So come on with me then. Okay. 